Hi, I'm Brian Ierson and I am one of the instructors at the Computer Workshop. In today's tutorial we're going to talk about combining information in different cells. As you can see here I want to consider combining the first and last names to create a full name and I'm going to do this in two ways. One, I'm going to use the concatenate function which in the newer versions Excel 2019 or 365 has been changed to simply concat. I'm also going to show you how you can use an ampersand to create the same type of thing almost as if you would a mathematic function. So to begin with we're going to look at the concat formula here and I'm going to start by selecting cell C2 where I want to create that combined full name and this is going to be equal C O N and you can see that concat is there in the list now I am ready to go ahead here and use the tab key to apply this function to my formula now remember using the tab key when the function that you want is highlighted will enter that function or even a name into a formula. When doing this with the formulas you'll see that it even puts in the open parentheses so you have one less thing to contend with. So we are going to combine text strings now so we are going to go ahead here and start by putting in the first name. So I will select cell A2 comma and now we will move to the second part. Now in this case I don't really want to have those first and last names without a space between them. So while this formula is great to combine information in different cells, you can also add in content of your own. Now if this is a textually based piece of information, we do have to wrap it inside of quotations. So I will go ahead and put in an open quotation, type in a space, and I will close the quotation. I must capture that that I want to add in inside of those quotes. Comma again to move on to the next piece of text that I would like to combine. And in this case we're going to select cell B2. And I'm going to use my little control enter keyboard shortcut to apply the formula and keep the same cell actively selected. And you can see we get the result that we're looking for. Now the reason that I used my control enter instead of a simple enter is that this keeps the same cell selected. So I can just come right to my autofill in the lower right corner of that actively selected cell and double click it to run down the rest of the column. So that is using the function concat, which is replacing the older function concatenate. Now we're going to do this again here, but we're going to do it as a mathematic formula, if you would. And like all formulas, it will begin with an equal. So I'm going to pick cell A2 ampersand. Now I'm going to add in my text that I want so I do again need to wrap that inside of my quotes. So open quote space close quote ampersand cell B2. A control enter and you see we get the same results and we can double click our autofill to flow that all the way down the rest of the column. Now I'm going to go ahead and show the formulas in both cases. So I'm going to just reveal my formulas using the keyboard shortcut of control tilde. And you can see these look somewhat different, but they do return the exact same results. So you can write that type of combining text strings together using the concat function, or you can write that as referring to this cell and whatever we put inside of our quotes and whatever's in this cell. I hope that this little tutorial was helpful for you today and 
Remember, if you like what you've seen, please don't hesitate. Go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We do put out new videos every Friday. So until next time, take care for now.